have to finish this electrical job today, so I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to stop and shoot stuff. This might not be a very good vlog. I've run a fish tape up into the attic. And I've shoved two of these wires up into the attic as well. This suit does not have any pockets for me to be able to hold on to my phone. I've got to go way back into that corner to grab the two wires and somewhere over there to grab the fish tape. So, uh, I don't think you're going to see any of this. The fish tape was easy to find, but I think all the way back there is where the cable is that I got to crawl to. That sucks. Trip one was a mild success. I got the wire out, of, out here and I pulled those out. Uh, but this started to get stuck, so I had to get out and I gotta see if I can straighten this out. Oh my God, it was crazy. Um, I was like way tucked in there and the, the roof was like right here. And I'm sandwiched down like this, trying to pull the cables through. If I didn't have that mask on, I would have just—I wouldn't have been able to breathe. It was just, it was just covered. Like my head was buried in insulation at points. I got some. It's not fiberglass, so it's not as itch, it's not itchy at all. It's actually blown in cellulose, um, but it's still dirty and uh, you know, um, not great to breathe. But you know, I, I know I got it in my cuffs because I didn't fully seal that. But, you know, success. Look at those hackles raised. Look at. She's angry at when I took off. You can go attack her. Go get it. Get it from a distance. Kill it from a distance. from the way station and it's a beautiful day to do so timber enrichment day for baba oh, oh, oh my goodness lucky baboon look good little sisters are cuddling look how cute that is oh i ruined it so this goes up here into the attic it goes over and then it comes down here. Then, so I have, this is the wire that goes to the other plug. This wire just goes straight up into the attic for power for the outside that I need to tie in later. And this wire is coming back from the switch out into right there, where it'll power lights. That metal clad cable is really dirty when you mess with it. So I keep washing my hands. Probably should wear gloves. And now I have clean hands. Uh, I tend to clean the job site several times and definitely clean it, see I've already vacuumed, definitely clean it at the end of the day because the following day, it's just so much nicer to start with a fresh clean workspace. Okay, white side, black side, green for ground. Up there, I've got the red wire nutted, and I'm gonna take some electrical tape to wrap around the outlet because this is a metal box, and you know, as you're just putting it in and out, you don't want, you don't want these to hit anything. See, electrical tape to protect it a little bit. If I messed up the wiring, this breaker is going to pop as soon as I flick it. 120 volts. Wiring the plug up, over, and down is a success. Now I just need to uh, do the outside lights and uh, put in the switch and wire that into the attic. <laughs> there he goes with his stick. It's a way station day and I'm here visiting with Chumash and Lakota. Oh, they're so gorgeous, I love them. I love these boys. 
Hi, Chumash. Hi, Chumash. Hi, Lakota. You guys are the best. Spent the last two and a half hours trying to get from that hole to that hole. Failed. I managed to get from that hole to that hole, but that hole to that hole has been a complete failure. I am just so friggin' aggravated. So, I decided to go on a dog walk. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna work on it anymore. Anymore today. I don't know. One five two at a twenty six twenty seven. Um, during the dog walk, I did clear my head a little, and I have a couple of ideas that might make this work. So it might be strange, but what I'm thinking is these might be flexible enough to get into those holes, but rigid enough to push its way to the other one so I can run a tape down the center of that hole. Hi, Cap. My monkey. These were a total failure. That's it. I give up. I don't know. I don't care. The big tasks are the easy tasks. It's those little ones, like getting the wire through. Those are the ones that'll kill you. And those are the ones, the details, that make up the final 10% of a job. And this is where most people give up and, and, and don't succeed at the things that they do because they give up at that final 10%. I haven't given up. I'm still pissed off but I will revisit it. I know I'm chewing gum, and I know that's rude, but I wanna chew gum. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to a filmmaking event, and uh, I, I will conquer this light situation. If anybody has any suggestions on how to do it, any electricians out there, you let me know. All right.